Some criminals act alone, some clump together in groups, and some act as part of their own family, which often leads to horrific consequences. The family that brought terror to England, the gangs that carried out brutal massacres, and the families that control metropolitan areas and countries. Soon you'll learn all about them. This is Infinity, and in this episode I'll tell you about the most dangerous families in the world. The Adams Family No, I don't mean the famous Adams Family whose members were characters in the black comedy of the same name. I'm talking about the family that caused a stir in all of England. The Adams Family is also known by other names, the Clerkenwell Crime Syndicate or the A-Team. The syndicate was founded in the early 1980s by brothers Terry, Tommy, and Patrick Adams who came from a large Irish Catholic family. The main base of the gang was the brothers' home district of Clerkenwell in the London borough of Islington, and the skeletons of the gang was the Adams brothers' childhood relatives and friends. Under the leadership of the family leader, Terry Adams, the syndicate was involved in drug dealing, extortion, robbery, and fraud. Tommy Adams played the role of financier of the group, dealing with gangs and cartels, while Patrick, being incredibly violent, was responsible for debt collecting and eliminating the unwanted. For nearly 20 years, the Adams family was a terror in England and was even considered the most powerful criminal organization in Great Britain. According to the British media, the syndicate was responsible for several dozen murders and the family's fortune was estimated at 200 million pounds. By the year 2000, the influence of the Clerkenwell crime syndicate had weakened markedly, although at the peak of their power, the Adams even planned to take control of such famous London football clubs as Arsenal or Tottenham Hotspur. In one way or another, they failed. With the decline of the influence, some members of the family lay low and others were arrested. The Moran Family No less dangerous in its time was the Moran family, whose members lived halfway around the world in Australia. Judy and Louis Moran are considered to be the founders of the criminal family. Judy's son, named Mark Moran, and another son of Judy named Jason Moran were also included in the ranks of this criminal organization. The Moran family began to gain momentum. The criminal clan was involved in corruption, trafficking in illegal substances, and murder. Not surprisingly, with all the Moran family activity and the presence of other criminal organizations in the region, sooner or later things would lead to a clan war. That actually happened. The Moran family was involved in a clan war that lasted from 1998 to 2010. Forty people became victims of that war. Among them were Judy's sons, Jason and Mark, Louis and Desmond. Shortly thereafter, Judy was arrested and sentenced to 26 years in prison. The Genovese Crime Family If you've seen the movie The Godfather, you may remember that it depicted the mafia gangs that controlled New York City. This isn't fiction. New York City is still controlled to this day by the criminal families of the Cosa Nostra. Most specifically, they control not the city itself but organized criminal activity in the metropolis and the Genovese crime family is more successful than the others. The Genovese crime family is one of the so-called five families that control New York City, and it's also considered one of the most powerful and dangerous families in the entire world. It's second only to the Gambino crime family in numbers, but has the same power as the Gambino family as well as the legendary Chicago Mafia. The family consists of about 250 to 300 members as well as about 1,000 associates. Exact numbers are unknown, so it's possible that in reality the Genovese crime family is now much larger. The Genovese crime family is involved in a variety of crimes. Their activities include racketeering, money laundering, extortion, gambling, bookmaking, drug dealing, murder, and more. The family controls almost every criminal structure in New York City, opposes the police and gangs of the city, and has friendly contacts with other New York City crime families. It's difficult to imagine the influence that this dangerous family has on New York City. However, the Genovese crime family is still far from the most dangerous and influential family in the world. After all, there are other families on the planet that are thought to control everything. Stay tuned to learn about more details and see the other most dangerous families in the world. The Bloody Benders Usually, serial killers act alone, but history knows of cases when serial killers have acted together. The worst thing about this is that sometimes the accomplices were members of the same family. The Bloody Benders are one of the most dangerous and violent families of all time, whose members were involved in crime in the 1870s. The family consisted of John Bender, his wife Elvira, their son John Bender Jr., and their daughter Kate. 
The Benders were one of five spiritualist families who settled in October 1870 in Osage Township, Kansas, USA. The family registered land and built a small inn in Labette County that provided shelter and food for travelers and their horses. It was the inn and spiritualist activity that became the basis for the Bender crimes. Kate lured clients to the inn through advertisements she posted around the town. Those wishing to heal or communicate with the spirits of the dead came to the Bender Inn. The inn had a large room divided by a curtain. When a guest entered the room, they were received and seated at a table in such a way that a curtain behind their back hid one of the Bender men. While Kate diverted the guest's attention, John or his son would dispose of him. By such dastardly tactics, the Benders had put at least 11 innocent people to death. Unfortunately, the family members couldn't be caught. After another crime was committed, they realized they'd get caught and fled before justice caught up with them. The fate of the bloody family is still unknown. The Barker Carpus Gang I'm sure many of you have heard the famous song called Ma Barker by this Boney M. Story of Ma Baker. But did you know what it's about? It's about Ma Barker. Arizona Donnie Barker, mother of several criminal brothers and the so-called Barker Carpus Gang. The gang had a great deal of notoriety in the United States in the early 1930s. In 1915, when the family moved to Tulsa, Oklahoma, the young Barkers embarked on a life of crime. Over time, they formed a gang founded by Fred Barker and Alvin Carpus. The bandits robbed banks, post offices, and local gas stations. The gangsters committed their main crimes between 1931 and 1935. Ma Barker is believed to have been the brains behind the gang and a violent criminal who regulated all the actions of her sons. But many scholars disagree. They raise serious doubts about her role in the gang. Anyway, the Barker Carpus gang made a lot of noise in its day, and for several years the Barker family was rightly considered one of the most dangerous in the world. Finally, one of the most famous families in the world which at the same time is considered the most dangerous on the planet. I'm talking about the Rothschild family. The history of the European dynasty of bankers goes back to the end of the 18th century. In 1816, Emperor Francis II of Austria bestowed upon the Rothschilds the title of barons. The Rothschilds began to belong to the high society of the Austrian nobility. Moreover, the British branch of the dynasty was accepted at the court of Queen Victoria. It's believed that since the 19th century, the Rothschilds have the largest fortune in the world. The exact fortune of the family is unknown. Some experts believe it's estimated at $300, $400, or $500 billion, while others are certain that the Rothschilds own most of the world's resources and money, and that their total fortune could be estimated at $500 trillion. But why are the Rothschilds a dangerous family? Many people believe the reason because of their gigantic wealth. With virtually endless amount of money, the Rothschilds have incredible power. According to many theorists, they are one of the ones who run states and multinational companies, start wars, organize and finance revolutions, and so on. If this is true, then the family has millions of ruined lives on their conscience, which is why the Rothschilds can be called the most dangerous family on the planet. That's all, guys. What family is the most dangerous in the world in your opinion? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.